good morning students today we will let us discuss about next subtopic some terrestrial habitat you know the previous class we will discuss about the two types of habitats you know one is terrestrial habitat another one is aquatic habitats terrestrial habitat mean the such kinds of organism like plants and animals it can live on land surface that is called what terrestrial habitat for example the mountain region okay desert region forest region grassland region so these are the examples of terrestrial habitat an aquatic habitat mean the such kinds of organism it can live in water that is called aquatic habitat like the fresh water okay and the lake and river and sea so these are the example of aquatic habitat the first one the terrestrial habitat first one the desert so in this topic we will discuss the desert so the abiotic factors of desert and the adaptations in camels you know what is the abiotic components means what you know like the soil air water temperature humidity so these are the abiotic components you know like the camel where will survive in the desert region so what about other animals and plants that are found in desert you know that so many uh, you know that uh, many living organism it can survive in the desert regions so normally we are not survive because the full and full the desert region covered the sand region and the high temperature during the day time so that's why we can't survive okay ma'am and there are desert animals like rat snake which do not have long leg that a camel has so the such organs are like the rat and snakes also it can survive in desert regions but these animals do not have long legs that can camel has okay the camel tender the camel it has the long legs to stay away from the instant heat during the day they stay in burrow deep in sand so uh, like the rat and snake what will do during the high temperature time it make a hole in the sand surface they will live in that inside that sand regions adukulla poi or hole mari pochu adukulla poi padutu these animals come out only during the night when it's cooler because the day, day time is normally the high temperature in the desert regions so that's why these kinds of animals like rat and snake do not come during the day time when will come it will come doing only in the night time only like figure the 9.5 show some typical plants that grow in desert how are this adapt in desert so see the figure the 9.4 and 9.5 you know desert animals in burrows and some typical plants that grow in desert okay so this is one of the activity bring a potted cactus and leafy plants to the classroom so just you bring it the two kinds of plants and tie a polythene bag to some parts of the two plants tie in the polythene paper in two plants as was done for activity 4 in chapter 7 where we study the transpiration in plants leaves the potted plants in sun and absorb after a few hours what we see do you notice any difference in the amount of water collection in two polythene bag yes you know some the small droplet some small droplet is presence on the polythene cover or polythene bag because what you know the transpiration desert plant flows very little water through transpiration so transpiration is nothing but evaporation process you know the water is converted into gaseous form you know so that process only so the leaves in desert plant are either absent the leaves in desert plants are either absent very small or they are in that form of spine and the desert plant la padna leaf almost irka the absent uh, some spines like the mollu mari solralya adu mari structure da irukum so this is help in reducing the loss of water from the leaves through transpiration so this is the special 
future of desert plants because it can reduce the uh, transpiration the leaf like structure you can see in cactus in fact in its stem photosynthesis in these plants is usually carried out by the stem so up in the leaf will have been a photosynthesis younger not a cool in the plant like photosynthesis in this plant is usually carried out by the stem in the end of the stem or in one of photosynthesis not a cool the stems is also covered with a thick waxy layer which helps to retain water into tissue of cacti the most of desert plant have roots that go very deep into the soil for absorbing water you know like the desert plants you know although the root path na romba desert la romba depth ah poi irukum yen apdina because there is the no water or very little water only is available ஸோ அதனால் அந்த பிளான்ஸோட ரூட் வந்து எங்கே போய் ரொம்ப ஆழமாக போய் வாட்டரை ஷக் பண்ணுற மாதிரி அடாப்ட் ஆகிருக்கு ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் அபவுட் தட் டெசர்ட் ரீஜியன் அண்ட் நெக்ஸ்ட் டு அண்ட் த மவுண்டன் ரீஜியன்ஸ் தீஸ் மவுண்டன்ஸ் ஆர் நார்மலி வெரி கோல்ட் அண்ட் விண்டி இன் சம் ஏரியா ஸ்னோ ஃபால் மெனி டேக் ப்ளேஸ் இன் விண்டர் இன்னும் மவுண்டன் ரீஜியன்ஸ் இஸ் த நார்மலி இஸ் வெரி த கோல்ட் கண்டிஷன் okay well, not in much of hot okay it's normally the uh, cold conditions or sometimes it is snow in take place in the winter time there is a large variety of plants and animals living in mountain region have you seen the different kinds of trees also you know why that most of the animals or plants it can live in that mountain region means because that climate is very good for that habitats so that's why the most of the plants as well as animal it can live on that mountain regions so the different kinds of organism it can survive in that place if you live in the mountain regions have visited to one you may have seen the large number of such trees but have you ever noticed such trees is naturally growing in other regions okay so in mountain region like the trees patna romba height ah irukum can grow in very tall large numbers of such trees but have you ever noticed such trees not naturally growing in other region so in the region la valar kodiya plants vanda matha region la paakradhu romba rare because of the first one is a climate condition and these kinds of plants it grow on is very tall so how are trees adapt to this condition prevailing in their habitat trees there are normally cone shaped and have sloping branch this is very important underline this word the trees okay the trees have the sloping the trees are normally cone shape and have sloping branches the leaves of some of these trees are needle like this help in to rain water and snow in the slide of easily so adoda leaf path abadina and the மவுண்டன் பிளான்ஸில் இருக்கக்கூடிய லீவ்ஸ் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சம் ட்ரீஸ் ஆர் நீடில் லைக் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஒரு நீடி லைக் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் மாதிரி இருக்கு ஏன் அப்படின்னா பிகாஸ் இட் ஹெல்ப்ஸ் டு ரெயின் வாட்டர் அண்ட் ஸ்னோ டு ஸ்லைட் ஆஃப் ஈஸிலி அந்த ஸ்னோ அதிகமாக இருக்கு இல்லையா ஸ்னோ அல்லது ரெயின் வரும்போது அந்த வாட்டர்ஸ் வந்து லீஃபில் டெபாசிட் ஆகுது ஈஸியாக கீழே விழுந்துடும் அதுக்கோசரம் தான் அது நீடில் ஷேப்பில் இருக்கு தேர் குட் பி ட்ரீஸ் வித் ஷேப்ஸ் வெரி டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் தீஸ் they are also present on mountains they may have different kinds of adaptation to survive on the mountain so the different kinds of uh, plants as well as animals it can survive in that mountain regions and animals living of mountain regions also adapt to the conditions even like the animals also it can adapt in that mountain region so these kinds of animal has is a uh, thick skin and fur to protect them cold so adoda animals oda skin pathu romba thick ah irukum it has the more fur because it can protect from cold for example yak have long hair to keep them warm and snow leopard has thick fur its body and includes feet and toes this protect its feet from the cold when it was on snow the mountain coat has strong hooves for running up rocky slopes of mountains so it is a special character you know the mountain coat you know 
மலையாடு சொல்கிற த மவுண்டன் ஹூட் ஹேஸ் இஸ் எ ஸ்ட்ராங் ஹோப்ஸ் ஃபார் ஹோப்ஸ்னால் இந்த கால் பாதத்தில் இருக்கிற ஹோப்ஸ் ஃபார் ரன்னிங் அப் விச் ராக்கி ஸ்லோப்ஸ் ஆஃப் த மவுண்டன் As we go up the mountain regions, the surrounding change that we dif- see different kinds of adaptation and the different height. Definitely, mountain region la poh mod you feel some the more climatical change compared than land regions. Okay, and next to one the grassland region. A lion live in a forest or grassland and a strong animal that can hurt and kill animals like deer. It is a light brown in color so the grassland region na pulvali region la some like the maximum the deer the lion la romba survey pannum so it has a brown in color look at the picture and lion and the deer how are the eyes placed in face of these two animals are they in the front or on the side on the face lions have long claws and the front legs can be withdrawn inside the toes அந்த லைனோட கால் பார்த்தோம்னா த லைன் ஹேவ் த லாங் க்ளோஸ் இன் த ஃப்ரண்ட் லெக்ஸ் தட் கேன் பி வித் ஆன் இன் சைட் த டோர் டூ த ஃபியூச்சர் ஆஃப் லைன் ஹெல்ப்ஸ் டு எனிவே டு சர்வை இட் இஸ் லைட் ப்ரௌன் கலர் ஹெல்ப்ஸ் யூ தைட் இன் ட்ரை கிராஸ் லைன் வென் இஸ் த ஹேண்ட் ஃபார் ப்ரே அனிமல் டு ப்ரே மீன்ஸ் வாட் அனிமல் டு ஈட் அது கில் பண்ணி சாப்பிட்றதுக்கு ஒரு மற்ற அனிமலை கில் பண்ணி சாப்பிடணும் அதுதான் அனிமல் டு ஈட் ப்ரே த ஐஸ் இஸ் ஃப்ரண்ட் ஆஃப் ஃபேஸ் அலோ இட் டு ஹாவ் எ கரெக்ட் ஐடியா அபவுட் த லொக்கேஷன் இட்ஸ் ப்ரே த ஃப்ரண்டை எதுக்கு யூஸ் ஆகுதுன்னா இட் ஃபேஸ் அலோ டு த ஹாவ் எ கரெக்ட் ஐடியா அபவுட் த லொக்கேஷன் ஆஃப் த ப்ரே இந்த ஃப்ரண்டை எதுக்கு யூஸ் ஆகுதுன்னா எந்த இடத்துல அனிமல்ஸ் இருக்குது அது ஈஸியாக போய் ப்ரே பண்ணி சாப்பிட முடியுது அதுக்கு யூஸ் ஆகுறது இந்த ஃப்ரண்ட் ஐஸ் Next, a deer is another example of grassland region. It live in the forest and grassland. It has a strong teeth. Deer, it has a strong teeth for achieving hot plant stem of forest. Because forest land is there, most of the plant food item is available. Okay, wow. So, deer it can easy to achieving hot pot of stem of the forest. A deer needs to know about the presence of predators. Animals like deer. line to make it the prey in order to run away from them and not become their prey so it is because it is a vegam oda kudi animal endu paathna ma okay va in order to run away from them and not become their prey it has long ears it has long ears to hear movement of predator the eyes on the side of its head allow its look all direction so the eyes of side of the head allow and the talaila talaina pon it can look in the all direction for danger okay va and the side and the animals are there you can easy to find out the speed of the deer help them to run away from the predators ipo or singamo puliyo adu attack panna varumbodhu it can easy to run okay va vegama oda kodi capacity adukku irukku There are many other features of lion, a deer and other animals and plants that help them to survive in their habitats. Okay, not only the lion and deer, even the so many organisms, so many animals also it can survive in that grassland regions. Okay, thank you students.